Louisiana Beer Reviews, I hope the lighting is tolerable, uh, SPB Rotator Series Belgian Style Trapel. It says the Peach Band. It's, it's a beer and they've got this band glued on it. That's what they do with this Rotator Series, glue the band on it. If right. you look at the website, it'll give the different color bands. Okay? I think that's because they only have a release for a couple of months. Yeah, this company was founded in time. Yeah, the rotator. They rotate different things. It was founded in 2013. This was canned on March 10, 2017. It's got date, guys. It's less than a month old. It means it's fresh. And you brought it. Yes, sir. You like Trapels? The Belgian style Trapel? The bright ales? 9% um, alcohol. It's um, a big one, guys. It's brewed in um, Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Uh, this brewery. Honestly, some of the stuff they made I didn't like too much. Others I did like, so it's kind of hit or miss with me. Um, just to tell well, you the truth. Some of the things that, that, that I enjoyed and then kind of later on is that maybe the QA went down in it. I'm not sure, but definitely a taste difference in what you expected, what you became accustomed and used to, and then what you got in the final one. Where did you buy this at the 504? <clears throat> no, I did get to set Helios is uptown New Orleans. Uh, Helios Wine Warehouse. It's an excellent price. I believe he sold it to me for nine ninety nine before the uh, Orleans Parish tax. And uh, six pack, six four. pack, wow. six pack, six pack. Yes, sir. Most times we go for six pack. I do believe a four pack is nothing more than a six pack minus two. So, with that said, we're going to go ahead and try this one. It's golden yellow. Oh, I forgot to change my cap. Okay, um, that's okay. I have a black cap I should be wearing. Our, our anonymous beer of beer would like to have a taste. A little taste. That's All right. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Beautiful golden, golden yellow. Yeah, it's gold. It's like, yeah, you're right. Yellow gold. All right. A real good head. It's got some chunks. I can see because the sun is over in that area. That's why it's like we're in the dark in the shade and the sun behind us. It's got a lot of room in it. I love It's got some, a lot of yeast chunks. It's got some tight little bubble strings on the side of the glass. It's got that trapel head, you know, that stark white head. A foam. And this mm -hmm. little, these little Di Amore glasses. If I could avoid breaking all my glasses, I could really enjoy them. Now the Belgian yeast, I'm not for sure what's using this or not. It's, it's, it's almost a, a low nose. <clears throat> hmm. I'm getting more of a citrus. I had a beautiful Dixie beer, half a bison glass, a tall uh, glass. And I was washing dishes one day and it slipped psh, and it cracked. I was so disgusted. Okay, after that's a garage sale. Oh, it's a strong yeast <laughs> and spiced white bread. Spice, mm -hmm. yes. You know, like you get holiday white bread. Not fruitcake. Not fruitcake, but a spiced white bread. It kind of reminds me of the Bornum Trapel from Belgium. You ever had any beers? You ever had Bornum? I have not had that brand. Okay, here's a great deal. You can go to um, Whole Foods Market. I'm not affiliated with them. But they have an 18... <laughs> An eight pack. I think it's an eight pack. And it's 18 bucks. Mm. No, it's a six pack. Three dollars would be a three times six is 18. It's a six pack. But it's, you know, pretty high, very high quality Belgian ales. And it's got Manju that? Yeah, it's got Bornum <coughs> Trapel, Don't the Bornum Double. It's got the Bornum Double. They've got the Golden Drock. The Golden Drock. What is it? The 5000 or whatever it's called. And there's the Pirat. Yeah, I think the Pirat triple hopped. And they're right from Belgium. I mean, it's the best $18 you're going to ever spend. I mean, it's expensive. $3 beer, but it's, ooh, that breeze. 1006. So it's spice, man. Spicy yeast. They probably use candy sugar in it. Cheers, so let's taste it. Did you hear that frog? Sweetness. Okay. Get a really good 
flavored body. It's something that is tasty. It's really tasty. I'm getting pale malt. Mm. A noticeable hot bitterness at the end. Mm -hmm. It's like a bitter bitterness. You know what I mean? It's not too mellow. It's just like, if you don't like bitter, then run. Run along. Run back to your Budweiser. You know. Bitter. Mm -hmm. I get that it's hop head. This is this yeah. is size down. It's got grain husks a little bit, but not the harsh, horrible grain husks that you get with the high gravity lagers. Some of those like nine or ten percent, which is just oh, what a nightmare. This is like the good grain husk. Like a little bubble gum or something. You know, if if I didn't know this was nine percent. I'd argue and say it's five, no. maybe six. Mm -hmm. It's got too much body to be five percent. Mm -hmm. The body's high, medium. It's almost in a heavy body. This is so not a light body beer. Yeah, I think it's a high body. It's a heavy body. Okay. So your 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 medium dry. Is the high alcohols bonding together make mix. To me, okay. Generally, not exclusively. Um, I love all the same way. It's mostly dry in the finish. Mm -hmm. It's drying. Mm -hmm. It's like sucking all your your life force out. <laughs> Almost like like a lemon would. Yeah. Like suck on a lemon, you get that face. And it's almost like that. Well, this is pretty good. This is a pretty good attempt. I don't think it's up. And you would have to try the Bornum Trapel, okay? And the and the Pierrot, those are some Trapel mm -hmm. to really compare because those are from Belgium. And it's hard to replicate what they do over there, I think. But um, I think it's it's dang good. And um, dang, I think it's darn good. And um, darn, I would give it an A. Most excellent, about a ninety-five on a test paper. I'm, I'm right there, I'm right there with you, Jack. Thinking this is a most excellent beer. I love the mouthfeel on it, the alcohol. Nice glass right there. lacing, nice glass lacing. We rinsed um, the glasses from the yeah. bourbon. The, oh, I'm sorry, the Tennessee whiskey. <laughs> um, it's, it's just right there. It's, it's, it's a delicious beer. So if you see the Southern Prohibition uh, Peach Band um, Trapel, I would highly recommend getting it. The price is right, $9.99 for a six pack. Um, it's not only at Elias's. You know, it's probably ten ninety nine and eleven ninety nine elsewhere. Yeah, I haven't been. You know where I have not been in a year? Stein's Deli. Ooh, he's so hard to get to. All the construction going on. Yeah, there. I haven't been there in a year. That's where he goes. Going to chop and then come up from chop. Hmm. I've Brown been going Jacks. down magazine from the uh, expressway. <laughs> well, you can get, you can go that way. At any rate, take chop in. Okay, well, um, and then go up that street where I got in the wreck, up Jackson Avenue, where a guy ran, pulled out in front of me, yeah. going against the one way I might add. So back on the beer, I do believe this is a transition beer from our loving stouts into rolling into warm weather. I would say that this is a... Yeah, better, it's a springtime beer. Correct. Wouldn't want to drink it in July. No, no. no. And, too heavy and the, the release time is perfect. Uh, I do believe there website said that it's limited to release between the months of April, April and May. April and May. So we'll roll we'll roll into uh, summer and uh, we'll start looking at some really light, light, light beers. All right, well, there's the L.A. Bon Ton Relay. Uh, most excellent product from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Um, Pine Belt, he'll probably review it. He does those, a lot of Mississippi beers, Pine Belt beer reviews. He doesn't do a lot of beer reviews, but he does occasionally. So Yep, y'all come on down to New Orleans or Baton Rouge and go see Southern. <laughs> In the burn.